Hello, electronic enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the world of VHDL programming. Specifically, we'll be exploring how to implement an and gate using VHDL and simulate it with a test bench. VHDL, or VHSIC Hardware Description Language, is a powerful language used for the description, modeling, and simulation of digital circuits. Today, we'll focus on a fundamental digital logic gate, the AND gate. The AND gate produces an output of 1 only when both of its inputs are 1. It's a cornerstone in digital design, often used for various logical operations. Let's jump into the VHDL code. Here's a basic structure. VHDL Library IEEE, use IEEE.std underscore logic underscore 1164.all, use IEEE.std underscore logic underscore if.all, use IEEE.std underscore logic underscore unsigned.all, entity and underscore gate is. Port, A, B, in std underscore logic, Y, out, std underscore logic, end and underscore gate, architecture behavioral of and underscore gate is. Begin. Process, A, B. Begin. Y equals A and B, end process, end behavioral. In this code, we define an entity named and underscore gate with two inputs, A and B, and one output, Y. Inside the architecture, we use a process to describe the behavior of the end gate, simply outputting the result of A and B dot. But how do we ensure our code works? That's where test benches come in. Let's create a test bench. VHDL. Library IEEE, use IEEE.std underscore logic underscore 1164.all, use IEEE.std underscore logic underscore if.all, use IEEE.std underscore logic underscore unsigned.all, entity and underscore gate underscore tb is. And and underscore gate underscore tb, architecture behavioral of and underscore gate underscore tb is. Signal A, B, Y, STD underscore logic, begin. UUT, entity work, dot and underscore gate. Port map, A, B, Y, process. Begin. A equals zero, B equals zero, wait for 10 nanoseconds. A equals zero, B equals one, wait for 10 nanoseconds. A equals one, B equals zero, wait for 10 nanoseconds. A equals one. B equals 1, wait for 10 nanoseconds, wait, end process, end behavioral. In the test bench, we instantiate our engate entity and apply different input combinations. The expected results will help us verify the correctness of our engate implementation. Now, let's run a simulation. I've already set up the simulation environment, so let's see the results. Slide 9, simulation results, show simulation waveforms. Voila! We successfully implemented an and gate using VHDL and confirmed its functionality through simulation. Understanding these basics is crucial as we build more complex digital circuits in VHDL. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more exciting content on digital design, VHDL programming, and electronics. Happy coding!